Now, I bet most of you guys are familiar with the rectangular, rectangular coordinate system. Rectangular coordinate system, which is also called Cartesian coordinate system, which is when you're plotting the point by the horizontal distance and vertical distance from the origin. Let us review what that was. Let's say you have to plot a point 2, 5. The first two signifies that you have to go move right 2 and the 5 signifies that you have to move up 2, up 5 in this case. If, if it was negative 2 then you would have to move left 2 and if it was negative 5 you would have to move down 5. So in this case you have to move right 2, so right there and you have to go up 5, so right here so when you combine those two, your point, your point two five is gonna lie. Ah, oh, let's just let's just grin, lie right there. It's gonna be two five. But rectangular system is not the old, not the only way to plot a point, or it's not the only system that is very useful. Sometimes another co another coordinate system called polar, polar coordinate system system is more useful in some ways. When this thing is used, it's for radars, or when the angles and directed distances from the origin has important meaning in the solution. And I'll show you what. Polar coordinate system, you, instead of specifying X and Y, you're gonna specify R and data. R, in this case, is the distance distance from pole slash origin that's this dot right there in the center this dot that's the pole pole slash origin and data is the angle from polar axis polar axis polar axis is the positive x axis right here that's polar, that's polar axis. So if you are plotting a point, let's say two, let's, let's make it three actually. If you're plotting a point three, 45 degrees, first you're gonna go 45 degrees from the polar axis, that's 15, that's 15, that's 15, that's 30, that's 45. That's how far you're gonna go. And the three signifies you're gonna go three units from the pole. So you're gonna go one, you're gonna go two, you're gonna go three. And that's where your point is gonna be lying on. You see how it's at 45 degree angle from the polar axis and it's three units away from the pole. Let's say you got a seven, 180 degrees. In this case, you're gonna go 180 degrees, which is gonna be the opposite of polar axis, so right here, and you're gonna go seven units to the left, seven units from the pole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's where your point is gonna be lying on. That's seven, one, eighty degrees. Let's do one more. Let's say you got a point negative five, ten degrees. Ah, oh, let's actually go with fifteen since we don't have ten. Ten. In that case, first of all, you're going to go 15 degrees, so like right here, this 15 degrees line. But in this case, instead of going positive, you're going to go negative 5. What negative 5 is signifying? If this R, if R is positive, think of it as being going forward. And if R is negative, think of it as being going backward. Like in this case, you're gonna go 15 degrees and you're gonna go five backwards. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, then five. And that's where your point is gonna be lying on. Negative five, 15. If it was five, 15, it's gonna be somewhere along this line. It's gonna be right there. 